Well, hello everybody and welcome back into the kitchen. I'm experimenting today with uh, something I found in one of the G Plus communities that I check out. Hot pepper candy. So, yeah, clearly I've got to try that, right? It seems really straightforward. There's like four ingredients if you count the hot peppers. So, let's see if I can pull this one off. So the main ingredients for this are three quarters of a cup of water. Let's put that in there. Three quarters of a cup of light corn syrup. Now apparently the pro tip with this is if you spray it with like a non-stick coating, it's supposed to pour out easier, but it's looking like that really didn't work, so I'm going to have to get my little silicone spatula and clean that out. But anyway, I'll get that in a second. So you add your water, your corn syrup, three quarters of a cup of water, three quarters of a cup of corn syrup, just in case I forgot those, two cups of sugar, because it is a candy after all. Then I'm going to want to bring this to a low rolling boil, which apparently is at 300 degrees. You know, it says 300 to 310, so I'm guessing pretty precise. Don't want to go above that too far. We'll get that started up while I scrape out the last of my corn syrup, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. So while I'm waiting on that, I've just set aside my heaping tablespoon of the 2016 powdered pane. Should give this a really nice flavor if it works. I'm hoping I'm not repeating the uh, peanut brittle affair here. Anyway, time to wait. So I started this just before 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll say five minutes to 10. I'm very curious to see how long this is going to take. Slowly getting a little bit of temperature in there. Very slowly. Maybe I'll go put my movie back on for a few minutes. Watch pot never boils, they say. So now that we have finally achieved 300 degrees, roughly 35 minutes later because I had it on medium because I didn't want to burn it and it kind of smells like after I turned it up to high it did burn so there's there's still room for improvement in this it's supposed to be a slight yellowish color that kind of looks blacky brown to me but anyway moving forward at this point I'm supposed to add any flavorings colorings or spices so in goes my heaping tablespoon of powdered pain and I was going to put in some red food coloring, but I don't know. Well, maybe I will do that anyway. Next, I'm supposed to immediately pour it into a wax paper lined cookie sheet. I'm using my little silicone muffin tin cup things instead. And I've got a little cold water here to try dropping some in. Alright, so let's give this a bit of a go. First, we're going to put some in the cold water. See what happens there. Sort of an interesting little effect there. All right, and into the muffin cups. And we'll take a look at this when it's all done. So I did end up putting some on wax paper in, uh, this is a little cake pan. And I tried putting some into some cold water that heated up pretty fast. We'll see how that looks. And I've got my mini muffin cups. But I've also got one heck of a mess to clean up here. That pot looks pretty brutal. Judging by the color and the smell I've got going on in the kitchen right now, I think I definitely burned it when I turned it up to high, and I just need to have a whole lot more patience cooking this out. But now I have to let this cool, and then we can give it a try. Well, I can give it a try. So while I've been waiting for this to cool, I've learned a couple interesting things. I kind of noticed that the candy that I had attempted to make in the cold water just dissolved and this poured out pretty clean. So it seems to me the best way to clean this stuff is just to let it sit in the water for a while. Don't kill yourself scrubbing it, just let it soak. Here's the main pot that I was cooking it in and we can look at the candy thermometer here as a perfect example. Where it's been sitting in the water, it's already pretty darn clean. Well, it's not hard to guess uh, where the water line was in that pot that I used to cook this, let it sit, and uh, like I said, no scrubbing. There's a real pro tip for you. Alright, so let's take a look here. Here's uh, a little bit of the candy that was in the water. This is incredibly sticky and uh, still kind of dissolving, I think, from having put it in the water. I don't think I'll be trying that method again with this candy recipe. It's another piece of that. It's kind of... It's tasty in a burnt sugar sort of way, but yeah. 
The wax paper, I think I put the wax paper down, upside down, because when I tried to peel it, bit of the back started coming off there. So I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not, but we're going to break this up in a minute and give it its coating. Here we have the uh, silicone mini muffin cups. I use these for all kinds of things. In theory, this should just pop right out. And it does. That's nice and clean. That's got a very nice uniform shape to the bottom anyway. That is a well-formed candy, even if the sugar is burnt. Okay, so, not bad. Next, I'm supposed to shake them in some sugar for a nice coating. So I've got some icing sugar, powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to use that. Well, that took less than two minutes to get all of these out. Just popped it inside out. Candies pop nice and neatly into the bag. Let's shake these up and see how they take that sugar coating. I'd say it looks like they took that coating rather well. That's kind of deceptive now. Well, I got four bags of five of them each, and I've still got that sheet to break up and shake up. But I think a couple of lessons here, or a couple of observations. The powdered sugar seems way too fine. Next time around, I'm going to use just regular old uh, granulated sugar, or I might try some brown sugar, just for a, a slightly different look. I think the muffin cups, while delightful because of the silicone, make for a very large candy. Maybe something smaller, if I could find... Uh, silicone ice cube trays perhaps or you know candy molds so I'll have to look online see what I can find there but yeah you know they don't look bad they're a nice uniform shape they popped out fairly well time to uh, break up and shake up that sheet candy see how it does well that was interesting I tried breaking this with my fingers at first just ended up ripping my wax paper and kind of sticking it to the front of it as well then uh, grabbed the spoon started whacking away with that Mm, thinking maybe the back side of a butter knife is probably the best way to go with this. So share some thoughts there. Okay, so I think the wax paper idea just really didn't work out for me in particular. I definitely won't be repeating that. It occurs to me somewhere we have a silicone cookie sheet, so when I make sheet candy again, it'll be on that. Again, I'm not entirely thrilled with my choice for the icing sugar as a coating. A, it makes huge messes all over if you uh, don't have the bag quite tight enough and B it just kinda coats the candy way more than I think I want to maybe if I had a paintbrush and I like cleaned them all off I'd be happier with that but oh well guess I need to try this before this video is over eh? alright so here we go it's definitely a candy can definitely taste that burn in the sugar but the powdered pain is definitely quite evident in there too if I hadn't overcooked that sugar or overheated that sugar I think this would be an exceptionally good candy there are a few experiments I think I'm gonna to want to try and do with this might try replacing that uh, light corn syrup with honey see how that works see if I still get a solid rock candy out of it because it's quite tasty overall, I mean, once you get past that, that one issue. And it's definitely got some heat. Oh, I'll be chewing on this up at the shop for sure. Yeah. Yeah. In the future, there will definitely be more experiments with this basic candy recipe. So, many thanks to you for sharing it in the forum. I'm really glad I uh, jotted it down. Well, most of it anyway and uh, gave it a try. For those of you who have watched the rest of this particular video, it's not a bad one to try. I highly recommend silicone for uh, cooling your candy. I highly recommend just soaking your implements. The candy will kind of dissolve off of it. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend giving it a try. Maybe not hot peppers if that's not your thing, but there's always uh, assorted flavors available in your grocery store. So yeah, yeah. A good easy recipe and aside from the the overheat on the sugar, I'm going to call this one a success. And on that note, thank you all for joining me on this particular video. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. See you next time.